Kenyatta this week reshuffled cabinet, sending two of his previous ministers home. The announcement of transfer of State Department for Youth Affairs from the Ministry of ICT is among the major changes in, in the recent reshuffle of cabinet by the president. I intend to make certain changes and reorganize government as follows. I have moved the State Department of Cooperatives from the Ministry of Industrialization, Trade, Enterprise Development and Cooperatives to the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries and renamed them as the Ministry of Industrialization, Trade and Enterprise Development, the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock, Fisheries and Cooperatives to allow for better management. I have moved the State Department of Youth Affairs from the Ministry of Public Service, Youth, Gender, to the Ministry of ICT and Innovations, and renamed them as the ministries, the ministries as the Ministry of Public Service and Gender, and the ICT as the Ministry of ICT, Innovation, and Youth Affairs. Muslim community from the coastal region celebrated the appointment of Nadia Abdallah Ahmed for the position of Chief Administrative Secretary in charge of ICT and Youth Affairs. And finally, Nadia Ahmed Abdallah, Chief Administrative Secretary for ICT, Innovation and Youth Affairs. I, Nadia Ahmed Abdallah, have been appointed a Chief Administrative Secretary in the Government of Kenya. Do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Chief Administrative Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Chief Administrative Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Chief Administrative Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office consciously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. During the speech, the president reminded his ministers and civil servants that it is time to work and deliver on the promises he made. I would want Kenyans to note that seven of these appointments to the position of chief administrative secretary are young Kenyans, some below the age of 30. These chief administrative secretaries, I hope will work and indeed under study their more experienced colleagues in government with the aim of readying themselves to assume senior leadership positions in the near future. I expect that these young trainee ministers, so to speak, will be a model to all their fellow young people and also instill, preach the high ideals of patriotism, excellence in public service, and most importantly, integrity. I congratulate each and every one of them for this appointment, and indeed, I look forward to working with all of them. On other stories, the newly appointed Sultan Haitham bin Tariq bin Taimur received condolences internationally. Among those are Najib Balala from Kenya, King Philip of Belgium. He also received a written message from the U.S. President and Italian Minister of Regional Affairs, among others. I'm privileged here today in, the, in Muscat uh, to be a special envoy on behalf of President Uhuru Kenyatta, President of the Republic of Kenya, to deliver a message of condolences uh, to His Majesty. Uh, Sultan Haytham bin Tariq uh, and also to stand in solidarity during this trying moment uh, with the people of, of Oman uh, because we have lost a good leader and a great leader not only for Oman but for the world. Uh, we appreciate the relationship uh, between Oman and Kenya, the historical relationship. They were very active trading partners and also social and, and political partners. We appreciated also uh, the late uh, Sultan Kabus, 
uh, relationship between East Africa and the Sultanate of Oman. Uh, that's why uh, it was important for us uh, to come to this level to deliver the message of condolences not only to His Majesty the Sultan but also to the people of Oman. In Nairobi, some noticeable areas inhabited by majority of Muslims coexisting peacefully with other communities are California and Biafra. What are the histories behind the bond created and nurtured in these areas? Tulibatika sisi katika watu wa majengo tulibatika kujengiwa nyumba hizi hapa za Biafra kwa njia ya malipo ya pole pole ambayo inajulikana kama relief scheme. Na jina halisi haswa la Biafra ni Kumwani Relief Scheme. Hili jina la Biafra lilikuja katika mzozo uliokuwa katika mji wa Nigeria vita vya kisiasa ambavyo vilikuwa kati ya Yakubu Gowon na mwenziwe ndogo nimetoka jina lake walipojitenga katika mji unaoitwa Biafra lakini wakati huo huo mpaka tukikunja watu wakasema kule wamejitenga wale wa Biafra Yakubu Gowon na mwenziwe kuna wamejitenga na sisi tujitenge sisi tukuje hivyo ni fikra tu inakuja kama hivyo hivyo wakajiita kwa Biafra basi Biafra ikashika sana ile jina la Biafra mtaa wa California kwa wale ambao kwamba hawaujui umezalikana na mitaa ambayo kwamba ilitangulia tangu mababu zetu asili watu wa California walitoka sehemu za pangani baada ya pangani wazazi wetu walikuwa katika mitaa ya Pumwani hapa majengo na ulipofanywa huu mradi wa kujenga hizi nyumba mradi wenyewe ulifanywa na marehemu Tom Boya mm. na kwa sababu Tom Boya alikuwa ameathirika sana na uamerikani ndio likapatikana jina la California lakini kwa hakika mtaa wenyewe unaitwa New Pumwani Estate kwa sababu majengo ni Pumwani ya zamani kwa hivyo hii inaitwa New Pumwani Estate lakini kwa jina maarufu kabisa ni California kwa sababu ya kule kuathirika kwa Tomboya na Waamerikani na yeye ndio alisimamia mradi kama huu na nyumba zenyewe zilijengwa na Waisraeli Residents of the two areas pride Islam for the peaceful coexistence in both Biafra and California stating that the religion played a big role in strengthening unity in the areas Biafra mwe Biafra ilikuwa ikisikika kwa sababu ya usafi. Na ule usafi uliingia katika mji na ukaingia pia katika nyoyo za watu. Mpaka ilifika kiwango cha kuwa Biafra ilikuwa ikisikika kwamba ukifika Biafra wewe mtu asalamu alaykum. Sasa ile asalamu alaykum ile ilileta umoja sana katika Biafra hapa ilikuwa na sifa kwamba sisi ilikuwa tukipendana mtu akiugua watu kutoka kitu wakatoka hapa kama ndinyata kama ni wapi utakuta watu wamekwenda moja kwa moja mpaka hapa sasa watu ilikuwa kitu watu wa salamu uh, asilimia karibu 75 ya mtaa wa kali, wakazi wa California ni waislamu lakini kuna pia wale ambao kwamba siyo waislamu na ni moja katika mitaa ambayo kwamba watu wameingiliana vizuri sana ni vigumu sana utambue nani ni muislamu na nani siyo muislamu na hii ni kwa sababu hawa watu kutokea mababu walitoka pumwani pamoja wakaingia hapa pamoja kwa hivyo wameishi kama ndugu na kumbuka wakati wa uchaguzi wa mwaka na saba maaskari wa JCU waliwahi kuingia hapa katika mtaa wakatuuliza kama kweli tuko Kenya kwa sababu walipata watu wamekaa watu wa tabaka mbalimbali dini mbalimbali wamekaa wanashauriana masuala ya siasa na hakuna vita For weekly briefs Amaisha Zaid